Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to tell you guys how to correctly install RAM on your motherboard. If you are new to assembling the computer, this is the tutorial for you guys. As you know, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing on making an ultimate astrophotography image processing rig that has all the necessary power and processing power to process all your image processing needs. So guys, in my previous video, I have already told you how to install the microprocessor on your motherboard if you have not seen that video please check in the link above or in the description below and as well today i am going to install this ram on this motherboard i have already done an unboxing video of this uh, motherboard and the ram if you have not seen those videos as well i would put the link in the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out so guys uh, please ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share with you guys so guys before we proceed further if you are new to my channel and not just subscribe to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notification for all my new videos let's get started before we start with the installation of ram on this motherboard uh, you should know few important things as you can see on my motherboard there are four slots of the ram and these are color coded as well so first uh, these two are the black color and these two are the gray color slots that you have and there is a reason why it is in the same way so as you can see guys here uh, on the top of the motherboard or in the instruction manual if you have for your motherboard you can see there are two ram slots which are marked with star so guys the a2 and b2 so my gray uh, slots are a2 and b2 and my black slots are a1 and b1 so this is a1 a2 b1 b2 so as you can see guys uh, the second and the fourth slot is marked with star uh, there is a reason for it guys because if you have only two sticks of ram so this motherboard specification says that only if you have only two sticks of RAM, you need to install in the second and the fourth slot, not in the first and the second slot, which is the normal choice of any normal person, right? So here, which is why it has already marked on my motherboard, but you can always go through the instruction or manual of the motherboard that uh, you have uh, to get this information. So here it is clearly marked A2 and B2 are the slots that I'm going to use first if I have only two RAM. But in this case, guys, I have four RAM, so I'll be using all four slots here. Uh, so as you know, I have already done an unboxing of this Corsair uh, Vengeance Pro RAM, and this is 8 GB sticks. Uh, which I am going to use in all the four slots. So I am going to have a total of 32 GB of RAM on this motherboard. So if you have only two sticks guys, ensure that uh, you are uh, using the second and the fourth slot. If you have all four sticks, uh, make sure that you use all the four. But if you have only one stick, you use A2 first. If you have two sticks, use a2 and b2 if you have three sticks a2 b2 and a1 and if you have four sticks you use for all four so this is the preference and the sequence that you need to follow uh, to install all the ram so as per the construction of the ram slot you see one side would be a fixed side which will not have any notch and another side will be a key side which will have a clicking notch that you observe on the motherboard. If your motherboard is in this configuration, ensure that all of your switch are held back before we install RAM on this motherboard. All the switch for all the four slots or the slots that, I, that you are going to use, this should have this switch held back so that your RAM goes inside. And next thing that you need to observe is it has two slots in each RAM for the pin that you need to put in, right? So uh, your RAM would also have the similar configuration. So one of them would be a smaller side and one would little bigger side. So don't worry guys, if you do not know which side to put your RAM, your RAM slot is automatically configured with the hardware uh, limitation that you cannot put it in any other way that you want or uh, you will not insert the ram from the wrong side right so it will automatically align the shorter side and the longer side and it will slide in nicely so that your ram fits properly in the ram slot so don't worry guys this is mechanical lock that they have made or by design so that you put your RAM in the correct way or in the correct direction. So I would uh, press it again before you put the RAM, ensure that you have these keys put back. And when you put the RAM inside, it will automatically slide in and lock. So you don't have to manually push it back and lock. That is how you even know that your RAM is properly inserted. And when you hit the click sound of this uh, key, 
that is how you know your ram is properly installed on your motherboard uh, one more important thing guys i am skipping one step here because this will give you a clearer view on how to install ram so after installing the processor ensure that you install the cpu cooler first and then you install the ram so that is the sequence that you need to follow here i am installing the ram first uh, so as to give you guys a clearer view on um, this RAM slot that I have here. Otherwise it will be covered with the big size CPU cooler, which I do not want to obstruct the view for you guys. So which is why I am doing the RAM installation first. Uh, but then guys, whenever you do at your home, ensure that you install the CPU cooler first and then you install the RAM. So let's start with the RAM installation. So guys, whenever you purchase the RAM, you will get it in one of these clear plastic coating after the unboxing of the RAM. This is an Corsair Avengers Pro RGB RAM. So this is what I'm going to install. I have four sticks of it. So I will not be using any preferred slot from here for the RAM. But if you have less than four RAM, ensure that you follow the sequence that I have told you. First one is A2 and then B2 and then A1 and then B1. That is the sequence that you need to follow. But here, since it doesn't matter, I am going to install all four RAMs here on the this RAM slot. Now let us start with the installation of the RAM stick on the motherboard. As you can see as well, uh, guys, on the RAM itself, you also have two slots or uh, there is a notch in the between at the bottom of the card. Please do not touch this uh, golden part. These are the connectors so that you do not put the dust or oil by mistake on this uh, connector so that your PC will malfunction right later. So ensure that it is clean and you do not touch this uh, bottom part. So this is how you want to install is ensure that your uh, longer side, this is this you can see is little longer than this shorter side. So this is have your motherboard has a similar configuration for the RAM slot as well. This side is little longer and this side is little, little shorter. So ensure that you align your RAM properly. Otherwise it will not go in. So do not need to push it too hard. If your RAM is not sliding in uh, correctly or smoothly, you know that you are, you are holding the RAM in the wrong direction. Just flip it and put it in the right direction so as to align this notch with the notch that you have on the RAM slot. So let's slide it and see how does it look like. So I will slide the first RAM on the first slot first. So now I'm going to slide it gently. So ensure that on the top you see there is a small uh, gap as well. So this is where your uh, RAM chip uh, or RAM plate uh, or motherboard, whatever you say. This is the RAM board that will go and align with this notch and then you slide it gently on the bottom. So I will align it and push it little. As you can see, uh, you hear it is clicked from the top and this notch has gone up and it has locked automatically this RAM. So this is how I'm going to do all four of it. So this was the first RAM. Now let us put the second RAM in the second slot. And press it gently until you hear the click for this lock that you have. So you see the lock automatically pulls up and uh, slides in to lock in your RAM. Now this is the third one. Ensure that you align it properly otherwise you will break the RAM. So this is the third one and this is the last and the fourth one. ensure that it is tight so this is how you install the ram so if you have to pull out the ram do not pull this ram out directly you need to first unlock the ram from the side so the same pin that has locked the ram on this motherboard you have to unlock it and then pull it gently from the slides uh, sides so it will come out so this is how you uninstall the ram and then you Whenever you want to replace it, replace it with the new RAM that you have and ensure that the notch matches and then press so that your this uh, lock will uh, lock your RAM correctly on the motherboard. So this is it guys. This is how you install RAM on the motherboard. So this ends the tutorial on how to install RAM correctly on the motherboard. 
आई होप यू गाइस नाउ नो वेरी वेल ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन इंस्टॉलिंग रैम करेक्टली ऑन योर मदरबोर्ड सो गाइज आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट दैट लाइक बटन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और कमेंट्स प्लीज लीव दम इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो आई विल ट्राई एन आंसर एज सुन एज पॉसिबल इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल एंड नॉट गेट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक दैट बेल नोटिफिकेशन आइकन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर ऑल माई न्यू वीडियोज थैंक यू गाइज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड क्लियर स्काइज